Hey there everyone, Lord Fidget here with another episode of AR Mock Battles. Today we are back in Astro Season with three volunteers, so let's go ahead and just get right into these maps. The first battle for today belongs to Terrakion 96. Let's go ahead and look at this map. Okay, so we have Mirabilis trapped in... Okay, so she can aerobatics out, that's interesting. So she has Fort Def Rez, uh, aerobatics, Def... Re or Def Res Gap, HP Def, Flower of Ease, Musical Dream Moonbow. Hector, okay, with Austin Counter, Special Fighter, AR Far Save, uh, Deflect Missile, Maltet Swap and Aether. Linus, with Life and Death, uh, Spurn, Infantry Pulse, Heavy Blade, Basilicos, Rally Speed Def, Gale Force. Peony with Attack Speed Bond, Wings of Mercy, Ground Orders, Aerobatics, Bond of the Alpha, Gentle Dream, and Moonbow. Brady with Close Foil, Dazzling Staff, Odd Recovery, Attack Speed Solo, Tandem Baton, Return, and Miracle. Saros with Disencounter, Dragon Wall, uh, Wings of Light, Bracing Stance, or Breath, No Assistant, Iceberg, and finally Thrasir with Flashing Blade 4. Killing Intent, Panic Smoke, Life and Death, E Finger, Rally Attack, Death Plus, and Luna. So, this is a fairly interesting looking setup here. Uh, Savior with the uh, Hector, though I would note that he can't actually protect Mirabilis from an attack from close range, which is interesting. Another thing I think I may want to consider exploiting here is over on the right side, where I could possibly break all both of these structures and then bait someone with their seer that's another option uh let's take a look what kinds of penalties are we looking at here because if there aren't any there's no duma and there's no dark shrine i might be able to uh, stick altina down here that uh that could be a potential your potential initiation initiation plan. Uh, let's see. I need to test... Well, I need to get rid of the structures, which is probably alright if I use Regand. Um, let's see. Hmm. How would, I, how would I go about this? I think I will go ahead and do that, as opposed to going up the, the uh, left-hand side. So, I guess reposition onto this trap, and that way, oh yeah, I can actually just break it, but then I'd have to, hmm, I'd have to get, get my units out to safety somehow. Let's see. Well, let's just try it and see what happens. So, if not, if, if, it, if it doesn't work out, I can just restart. So, I don't want... Brunia or Makaya to be affected. Naga being affected would be okay. I think. And then I guess I could do this. Maybe. So... Refresh. And then can I break this? Uh... Yes, I can actually. I can do this. And then this. And then this. That. And that. Okay, so that is a good start. Did I turn? Now I need to get rid of the catapults. So I could do this probably, and then retreat, and uh, then move you around. I don't want Bruni to take that hit, or actually, that might not be a horrible. I worry about Brunia's ability to actually yes. double her, especially without her solos, so let's go ahead and avoid that. As you say, and hit and turn again. Now, I should be okay to do this. And then I will shuffle my units around here. Yes. Let's Certainly. get um, that going I'll on. That it. should be fine. And then let's take a look. How are we going? How is this going to work? So a rally out of Linus and a refresh out of Mirabilis. 
Okay, so lots of rallies going on. Anthesira goes down to Altina. So we have been we were safely able to initiate why did you get a post Oh, you got a post combat rally because you were threatening uh, Altina. I may wish to try and capitalize on that. Oh, that's right. Hector has far save. So, let's do Okay, you have dazzling staff. Hmm. If I do Hmm, how am I going to run this? I would love to get the peony taken care of. So what I think I yes. want to do is this, Close your and eyes. then that, As you say. and then move you here? Do I, do I need to get... Does it matter? Can I have... Actually, I could have Brady attack. That might be useful. It's not like his staff uh, inflicts any yes. negative effects. Does he? He doesn't kill Altina, does he? Surely not. Uh, what is this? Sorry. Oops. Switch to Seros. That is Mirabellus's whimsical dream. Um, will he have that? Probably not. I want to say. Um, well, let's just assume. What, what if? What if he does? What if he? What if he ends up with it? Then, he will have a 65 attack Consider to her done. is, yeah, that is 12 is, so to her 49 res. So that's 65 versus 49. That's 16, yes? Okay, so she actually lives By that. All right, so that's certainty. fine. And let me go ahead and do Let's go together. this, I suppose. That should, be, that should be fine as well. Okay, then turn. Oh, there's a flyer school. I'm dumb. Okay, Brady might actually kill Tina then. Okay, he barely, barely manages to, uh, to not KO her. I totally forgot that flyer school was there. I feel pretty bad about that. I'm actually slightly curious as to how she managed to live with that minus four penalty. Did I... Oh, because he didn't have... He didn't have the whimsical dream on him. Duh. Alright. That was interesting. Does Altina... Altina should cleave right through this guy's spurn. Um... Well, let's see. I think she does. As long as this isn't one-shot, which it shouldn't. Um... We can do that, and then let's go together. that, and let's see, um, if, uh, is it turn Over four here. or, no, it's five, nuts. That is unfortunate, so, hmm, I could do this. Well, there's really l only one space. I, w I was hoping to be able to get, um, Regan into to bait the to the Mirabilis, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So we can do this, and I will go ahead and refresh you, and call that good. By your will. So Linus will attack into Altina. He does not have guard, and the Tandem Baton is out of the way, so she is able to delete him with the Twin Blades. I wonder what this Certainly. matchup actually looks like. Quite bad. I could potentially prevent him from getting that follow-up by using oh, her here. duo skill, but I'm not entirely certain that now is the right time for that. So I think for now what I do is I just, let's see, 38 defense. Consider it done. I should be able certainty. to do this, actually. Just, um... Just bait the Mirabellas out. Yes. Get the Micaiah Sorry. over here. Um, let's see. I would like it to would get over Regan here. over here. What is your desire? So she can try and grab that Aether Fountain. It is turn six of seven. Okay, so you go that way. And this is real, actually. That's, that's a good thing to yes. note. So, hmm, I wonder, how am I going to handle this? Huh, 
That's a good question. Let's go together. Oh, you don't KO anymore because you have the Divine Fang anyway. bonus, and that grants you the uh, follow-up prevention effect. That's good. That's a good starting point, I think. Uh, in fact, that, I believe, should allow you to get the KO, right? Because once that happens... Oh, he has Special Fighter. Never mind. I'm dumb. Okay. <laughs> uh, hmm. Close Let's your see. Eyes. We can do... What are we going to do here? Yes. That's a bad idea. Yes. That's not a bad idea, necessarily. Oh, um... It. So, I know this is real. So, I can do this. Oh, I mean, I guess trap theory wise, this being real As you say, meant that no matter Simply. what, he would have gone down to Micaiah. Regardless of how yes. hard he hits Brunia. Huh, interesting. Okay, cool. Together. That was a neat little map there. So, yeah, I mean, in this particular instance, I was able to leverage the fact that uh, you can break these buildings and this space is, is uh, targetable or targeted by the seer. So, I don't know. I think it I feel like that probably does a pretty good job of circumventing the entire goal behind the ten baton and far save strategy. So that was interesting. I wonder I wonder if you could uh, test this trap. I think you might be able to test this trap with and then maybe KO with Regan. Depending on depending on the setup, of course. That is a relatively bulky Brady, I suppose. Huh. Anyway, just moved for thought, so thank you very much for sharing. Let's move on to map number two. The second map belongs to AKA2 Blaster. We did challenge the light dark setup last week, uh, but the state of the queue is such that we are getting to the Asher Anima setup this week. So we have Legendary Azura with Fortress Death, Wings of Mercy, Guidance, Aerobatics, Prayer Wheel, Grey Waves, Moonbow. Thrasir with Flashing Blade, Killing Intent, Panic Smoke, Attack Res Bond, E Finger, No Assist Moonbow. Veronica with Attack Death Bond, I don't see that on Veronica every day. Uh, Wrathful Staff, Double Distant Guard, Lid Skull, for Star, Windfire Balm. Roy with Fury, Lunge, Speed Smoke, Blazing Durant, All Rallies Resistance. Rally Resistance, thank you, Tongue, and Gale Force. Mirabilis with Fort Def Res, Wings of Mercy, Def Res Gap, uh, Torrent Dance, I believe is that what that skill is called, Flower of Eve's Whimsical Dream, and Iceberg. My tongue is just tripping on the assist today. Leaf with Attack Def Push, Low Attack Res, Fatal Smoke, Hardy Bearing, Healthy, No Assist, and Glimmer. And finally, Saros with Mirror Impact, Dragon Wall, Wings of Light, No Seal, Aurora Breath, No Assist, and Glacies. So, that's interesting. Uh, looks like there's a bit of a rally trap if you put a unit in Leaf's range, then Roy comes out and his range is going to overlap. Actually, he doesn't get Mirabilis' refresh. Uh, he will get Azura's, though. Assuming no Restore comes out. Because then Azura will be able to aerobatics to Veronica after Leaf moves to attack. Approach options... Um... I could maybe get something going over on the right hand side. Delete the Saros and Roy with Brunia. Uh, that would require a refresh from Primaria, and then I'd have to get get her out of the way with Micaiah so Leaf doesn't destroy her. I don't really like that idea it's too much, just because well, I I really what I really want is a way to get uh oh. I could, actually, now that I look at it. I could do Smite Plumeria here, and then Plumeria refreshes, and then I reposition with Micaiah, who's stationed here. The Regency stationed here is that Naga is here. Or I guess I, on the other, on the flip side of it, I could just put Naga here and use the Smite with Regan. Mm. Interesting. Uh, that way, Veronica actually burns her action on restoring Leaf, gets the refresh from Azura. Um, for Seer, is that a problem? Probably not. Not with the Saras out of the way. Brunia should be fast enough to deal with that. Okay. I 
think that's actually the plan. Leaf has total of, what is that, 93 magical bulk? I think Micaiah can cut through that. All right, let's try this. So we have Micaiah here, Brunia here, Naga's here, that's fine. Um, and then what I want to do is this, and then that, and then this into that, I suppose, with a break on that before I reposition from here out of the way. So, I can't initiate just yet. I will need another turn, but I can do... Oh, if I do that, then I'm going to force the restore element, and I don't want to do that. Uh, not yet, anyway. So let's do... Let's break this, put Regan back down there, and I'll do that. So, ah oh yes, that's the reason I wanted Naga over here, because she would provide the yes. drag effectiveness to Brunia for the Saros matchup. Okay, um, As you say. delete Saros. That's a lot of mitigation. Oh, double disengard on the Veronica. Duh. Plus she probably got this, I would imagine. Oh, is Leaf getting this next turn? He is. Does that throw off my numbers? Uh, I think I'm a little too Over late here? to... <laughs> Even if it does. <laughs> uh, it's a little late for that. So let me go ahead and refresh Brunia. Yes. Delete the Roy. Reposition the Plumeria. And Let's then just break that, I guess. I don't know. And then we will have to see how the enemy phase goes. So we should see a restore on the leaf. I refresh out of the Azura. Okay, the Thersir attacks. Oh, she doesn't die. That is interesting. I was not... Okay, Mirabels was forced to attack. Okay, interesting. And then... Huh. Cool. I was not anticipating that, um... That course of action. Uh, the double distant card really messed with my Thersir matchup, I think. That was part of it. Um... Gosh, there were there were other things that happened there, too. Must have been. Oh, the, the, the attack yes. res bond as well, I, th I suppose. That is interesting. So that is a mess up on my part. Um, if I do this, Close your and eyes. then this, and then this, together. and then how am I going to do this? I yes. could do that, and then that. And smite. Lose. You still have Kanto. That's cool. Certainty. Not necessary, but cool. Mirabella should not be able to KO Brunia. Yeah, and your damage actually got reduced significantly. Consider it done. And then break the fountain. Yes. And finish the job. So that was pretty interesting. Uh, I was. Yeah, I don't think there was any. Yeah, with the Mirabilis able to deal at least five damage to Brunia, there was no way she was going to do anything other than attack. So if I had to actually run the numbers, then I would have discovered that, that would be fine. Just really annoying. Okay, cool. So thank you very much for sharing. Yeah, let's see here. Do I have any parting comments? Um, not really. I mean, I like the setup. Uh, yeah, no, that seems, seems pretty solid to me. Thank you very much for sharing, and let's go ahead and move on to map number three. The third map belongs to Chino. Let's go ahead and take a look at the setup. I actually, this is one of the maps where I had to uh, poke around at it a little bit to figure out the appropriate, um, the appropriate course of action. As you can probably tell, I ended up choosing the Merida team for reasons we will get into. For now, let's take a look at this map and what it does. So we have Saros with Mirror Impact, Dragon Wall, Drive Res, Death Blow, Aurora Breath, Pivot, and Moonbow. Sigurd with Death Blow, Low Attack Res, Distant Guard, Drive Attack, Guilt Goblet, Dance, Moonbow. Norn with Death Blow, uh, Null Follow Up, Times Pulse, Swift Sparrow, Spendthrift Bow, No Assist, Deadeye. 
Lacazus with attack speed push, wind sweep, ground orders, aerobatics, courtly fan dance, and moonbow. Felix with fury, bold fighter, armor march, sturdy in uh, sturdy impact, sturdy blow, no sturdy impact seal, thank goodness. Reindeer bow, rally attack, and bonfire. Flora with attack def bond, bold fighter, AR far save, de uh, deflect missile, Cyrimnir, rally defense, and iceberg, and finally Mirabilis with fort def res, wings of mercy, ground orders, distant guard, flower of ease, whimsical dream, and moonbow. So the pitfall I ran into myself when I first made my, when I made my first attempt was I saw Mirabilis right next to Flora and I thought, all right, Mirabilis is gonna refresh Flora. Completely forgetting that there is an entire list of prioritization rules, or who gets to the uh, the privilege of refreshing. One of the, the most important of which for this case is uh, how far you are from the nearest opponent to you, which Sigurd wins by a mile. Um, I don't know what was going on with my brain to forget that, because I have factored that into my decisions plenty of times, and in this case, I just... I don't even know. Mirabilis is next to Flora, and that influenced my decision, I guess. So, the idea is Sigurd jumps out. His range is extended quite significantly, actually. He goes out to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this diagonal? I mean, I could still technically hide 6 units here, which was, which was an interesting avenue that I didn't explore. But if there is anybody here, then Felix will jump out for the rally, get refreshed, and now, because of Mirabilis' ground orders, the tricky part is Flora can jump out for the rally, get refreshed by Lachesis, and now you've got this whole mass of range extension, and it's really terrifying. Um, yeah, I, I, I figured out the Flora bit when I tried to, tried to put Zothis here. <laughs> I, once, I, once I flub uh, the first attempt, I usually just go into throw stuff at the wall mode, and this is not a good map to just throw stuff at the wall. Although it eventually did work, what I noticed was uh, these two have quite strong attack stats. So the approach I ended up using was this. I put Fjorm here to isolate the Mirabilis and went all in with Merida right there. So what that does is it forces attacks out of Lacazus and Sigurd, and Mirabilis can't refresh, so poor Flora is stuck doing nothing. And Felix, yes. I mean, he does deal damage to Merida, but it's, uh, it's nothing that significantly threatens her. Like, it's, yeah, 23. And sure, she only hits him back for two sevens, but from there, it's pretty smooth sailing. A Sigurd attacking first is a clear indicator that um, the remaining matchups are losing for the enemies. So, I believe what I ended up doing next was this really funky maneuver. Uh, the Saros not having quick repost allowed me to do this. And then this smite Lucina beat uh, the Saros and then refresh and reposition. And the reason I didn't have uh, have reposition in Naga to go do that was because Naga has smite, so warping in Plumeria to Regan, there was no way to get uh, Regan to safety. Felix would have completely obliterated her. So then I just move Maria to back. She takes hits from Mirabilis and Flora, or Flora and Mirabilis, as it were, on the enemy phase. And then what I noticed was that uh, Felix is absolutely 100% going after Plumeria. So uh, he was going to move here unless I did something. And so I believe I did do something. I just don't remember what it was. Ah, yes, I do now. Here it was. That, into that, into that, into that, into that. Blocks in the Felix quite nicely. I am able to go after the Aether Structures. And in fact, I think I did do that. What did I do? I did... You can count on me. Yes, I did this. Gale Force activates, so Kanto doesn't. Move, Kanto, refresh, break, and finish. So that was the approach I eventually used for that map. Um, I like to think that on a really good day I would have seen that, but I have. I really don't know. <laughs> this, is a, this is a nice setup. I like it. I honestly wouldn't change it. It's quite solid. Uh, for a strategy like the one I used to work, you need to have a lot going for you. 
Uh, my initial attempt actually didn't isolate the Mirabilis. That was a minor optimization I made after the fact. But uh, without an isolator, you have to deal with the flora on the enemy phase, which is possibly possibly bad, especially if you're running something, trying to run something like Brave Ike. Like Brave Ike can, I, I worry about a bit about the Zagird, but everybody else should be handleable. But then if you throw Flora into the mix too, that could become a problem. Uh, and then I guess the other thing is I didn't actually even look at the possibilities for, for hiding my team here. I wonder what that would have looked like. I think I, I had some attempts with the Brunia team and she did not match well into Lacazes at all. <laughs> so I like that pick there very much. Um, yeah, no, this is a pretty solid setup. So thank you very much for sharing. That was a nice little uh, brain teaser. And uh, that was actually the last map for this batch. And that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of AR Mock Battles. Uh, next week, we will be going back into light season. I actually need to check to see if uh, there are enough volunteers for a Mock Battles video for light season. I do know that there are some comments that I have not gotten to yet that were volunteering, but I think there was at least one of them that was specifically Astra Anima. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. Uh, regardless, I hope, again, that you all enjoyed this, and I would like to extend a huge thank you to today's volunteers. You are all wonderful. And that's all I have for you this video. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.